that afternoon, you could see a few peaks of blue among those high thin clouds that we've had around Fargo and other parts of the valley throughout the morning hours and now this afternoon. And that's allowing a lot of that sun, the sun's energy to get through and we're warming back up here today. Let's take a look at our temperatures. We're in the 70s. It's pleasant out there. 72 degrees in Fargo and in Grand Fork, 74. All of eastern North Dakota checking it at least at 70. Over to Minnesota, a few of us still hanging on to some 60s. Our cool spot is Wadena at 66 degrees. The wind is out of the south or southeast. We've got wind speeds into the teens. Our peak speed 16 miles per hour in Cooperstown and in Gwinter. Let's take a look at our radar and satellite. Now you can see that uh, northern valley much sunnier for you though you can make out those thin clouds passing by in a lot of spots. Southern Valley, we have a few more of those uh, clouds hanging around, but definitely out west, we've got the uh, thicker cloud cover and the rain that it's producing at the moment. So we're zooming in here right along the, the uh, county line between uh, Foster and Stutzman County. Some showers happening there around Jamestown, just to the west, especially one little cell that's looking like it's producing some moderate rainfall. And this does is starting to stretch into Griggs County here uh, this afternoon and it's been trying to progress eastward but hasn't had much luck since this morning. So we'll expand the view here to show you what's going on across the tri-state area. You can see thicker cloud cover in central parts of North Dakota and a little storm trying to get going around Dickinson there too. And this is an area where we'll see if we do see any rain or thunder popping up today, it'll be out west. And as it tries to make its way eastward again, it's going to be a little struggle as it moves into some drier air. So here's a look at our hour by hour planner. Those high thin clouds kind to stick around and by five o'clock temperatures into the upper 70s to some low 80s. Don't be surprised if you're in our western viewing area if you do see a couple of sprinkles or a shower or two. Heading into tonight temperatures in the uh, low to mid 70s even around the 8 o'clock hour so a pleasant evening ahead and overnight those temperatures dropping into the 60s and eventually dipping down into some 50s in our eastern viewing area where we'll be cooler and overnight is when we'll start to see more moisture working its way in we'll see that potential for some rain starting to increase our forecast model not super impressed with our morning chances but around 9 a.m. you could see a few isolated areas of rain perhaps around Devil's Lake moving in and Northern Valley may be the focus for that chance for some rain and thunder tomorrow into the afternoon. High temperatures in the 70s to a couple of us getting to 80 degrees tomorrow again. So similar temperatures. And as we heat things up, the better bet for rain and thunder will be into the later part of the day, continuing into tomorrow night. You can see those storms going around 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. So here's your seven day planner. Uh, we have some unsettled weather in between days that are looking pretty quiet. Today is one of the quieter days. Tomorrow that chance for some rain and thunder again returns. And right now it looks like that's going to around into Saturday, especially Saturday morning. So if you have some plans Saturday morning to be outdoors, might want to pay attention to the forecast as we get closer to the day. Sunday it looks to be quieter but breezier as our next chance for rain and thunder rolls in Sunday night and into Monday and next week into the upper 70s on Monday and Tuesday before rolling right back into some low 80s. Temperatures not really changing much. It's looking pretty mild or warm, I should say, for this time of year. And again, we need the rain. So a couple of days of rain, that's a good thing as long as the storms don't turn severe. You got that right. Thank you very much, Lisa. Straight ahead here at